restroom. Are there some good places to park around here? What's the quickest way to the airport? Have you seen any good local music lately? Where can I buy a souvenir coffee mug? How many times have you answered some of these questions? As a tourism and hospitality worker, you are expected to know a lot. Now, it's great when you know the answers to these questions, but can be a pain when you don't. You have to phone a friend, you're frantically looking online, calling your boss, finding coworkers to ask. Wouldn't it be great if you could anticipate those needs? Heck, anticipate the question they're going to ask and be ready with a response? That's what this class is here to help you with. Hi again, Jamie here. Welcome back. Here is where you can learn how to make great first impressions and represent your town to newcomers and guests. You can learn how to treat guests so that they want to come back and share their experiences with friends and family and really just understand how to make your community an even better place. Today we're looking at the best ways to anticipate what people from different age groups might expect while exploring your community. Now when we look at service organizations that excel, what makes them excellent is that they know themselves and their customers very well. They know what different types of customers they have and the different needs of each of those types. The same goes for good caring people. They know what types of friends and neighbors they have and what matters most to them. When you realize the needs beforehand, it's actually easy to anticipate the questions. So let's start there, realizing the needs. Now just think about yourself and those around you. There are people in your life that come from different generations and are at various stages of life. Different generations have different needs. Now, I'm going to give you two questions that you could get from any age group, and then we'll go through how your responses would maybe differ for each group. Number one, do you know a great place to eat downtown? And number two, anything good going on this weekend? Okay, so anybody can ask you these questions, but your responses would and should be different depending on who's asking. So let's go through who might be asking and what their needs would be so that you can provide them with an appropriate response. We'll start with the baby boomers, ages 50 through 70. Now this group is willing to pay for good service and a good experience, but they expect good value for the price. Boomers are called the sandwich generation because they're often taking care of their parents and their children or even grandchildren. So there is a big need to make sure everyone is taken care of. So we just talked about two needs for boomers, good value for their money and taking care of family. Knowing these needs, let's go back to our two questions. Do you know a great place to eat downtown? We'll start with that one. What would a good response be if a baby boomer asks us that? Now you could say, yeah, you should check out the Lakeside Marina. You can eat lunch dockside and then the kids would love a boat cruise out on the lake. Okay, so how about a response to our second question? Anything good going on this weekend? If you're talking to a baby boomer, you might say, yeah, I think your family will love the Natural History Center. It's a great view and has all kinds of interactive exhibits and it's free. So those are the baby boomers. Our next generation is called Generation X and their ages are roughly 38 to 50. Now, Gen Xers typically seek an authentic experience. Activities around culture are important to them. So, knowing these two needs of authenticity and culture, how would we answer our two questions? To question number one, a great response for a Generation Xer might be, you know, you should take a walking tour through our historic district. There are plenty of great restaurants and pubs there too. And to answer number two, anything good going on this weekend? You could say, yeah, there are some great cultural attractions here. Let me get you a brochure and I'll point out a few of my favorites. Or check out your local Convention and Visitors Bureau website for all the different neighborhood happenings. All right, let's look at our last age group, Generation Y, ages 18 to 37. These folks are constantly connected to each other and want to go where locals their own age go. They're tech savvy and they grew up as part of an inclusive generation. They want to be included and involved. So their needs are connectivity, going where locals go, reliance on technology, and being included and involved. Knowing these things about Gen Yers, how would we answer our two questions? Try to come up with something on your own. Now, you might be in this age group. If not, you could defer to somebody who is to get an answer, and that's completely fine. You could say something like, you know, I don't know, but let me ask my coworker. He's always having a good time with his friends in Youngstown. He'll have some great suggestions. Okay, so how would you answer the second question? Anything good going on this weekend? 
for Generation Y folks, you could ask, have you heard about the festival going on this weekend? You could also check out the Events tab on your local Convention and Visitor Bureau's website. It puts you right up to date with what's happening today. You can even tag your favorites from your phone. The point of this exercise is, by anticipating all of these needs before you even have the conversation, you can already have the answer available. And so you see, it doesn't really matter whether they're neighbors or friends or folks visiting in town. The need is the same, like a great place to eat or a fun event. The situations just may be different. Now, you might be thinking, how in the world am I expected to anticipate every question and then have all the answers too? And you're absolutely right to feel that way. Here's the thing, it's impossible to know every answer to every question, but you've got two things on your side. Number one, we just went over several different expectations of people in all the different age groups. And as we talked through those anticipated questions, I'm sure you were thinking of what your answers would be, right? So, you've already got a head start. And number two, the second thing you've got going for you is, it is completely okay to say, I don't know, but I'll find out for you. And there's an endless amount of resources available to help answer those questions that you don't know. Another way to recommend great experiences is to have them yourself. I challenge you right now to go to your Convention and Visitor Bureau's website and click on the Events tab. You'll find different categories of events to choose from. It is a tremendous resource and it's there for you 24-7. Now other great resources could be a coworker, a manager, a friend, the local visitor's guide, social media, brochures, the list goes on and on. You just have to know where to look to find the answer. So here is what we want you to take from this. Number one, Think about the people in your life and who your customers are. What age group do they typically fall into? Are they men or women? What are their likes and dislikes? If you get a wide range of customers and they're too hard to group, that's okay too. Just having an overall picture of who your friends or your customers are is a great place to start. Number two, then try to understand their basic needs and expectations. Hopefully this program has helped you out with that a little bit. Now, what about where you work? Do you have a list of frequently asked questions with preferred responses? Find out what those are. If you haven't heard all of those questions already, I'm sure you will eventually. All right, my friends, that's it. We hope we have exceeded your expectations. When you pass the final quiz, you'll earn the title of Certified Hospitality Professional and receive a certificate suitable for framing. You should feel proud to add the title to your resume. You can print out the certificate yourself or email your administrator to receive it at a later date. If you want to refresh your course, come back and see us anytime. Thanks for all of the work that you do in making your town a great place to live, because a great place to live becomes an even greater place to visit. Music